Hello students, it is good to have you on this platform. You are welcome to our virtual class. Our lesson topic for today is spreadsheet packages. It is expected that at the end of this lesson, you will be able to do the following with ease. Define a spreadsheet, identify spreadsheet applications, and describe the general features of spreadsheet packages. To achieve a stated objective, you will need the following instructional aids or materials. One, a personal computer. Your computer must have Microsoft Excel spreadsheets of any choice version installed. Secondly, you need a sample practice document, such as your school resort sheet, an inventory record, it may be a financial analysis record, or any other document that require arithmetic operations. In addition, you should be conversant with the use of your computer keyboard and mouse. Previous lessons in junior secondary one and two on computer softwares would have taught you that spreadsheets belongs to the group of application softwares in computer. What then is a spreadsheet? A spreadsheet is an application package in which data is arranged in rows and columns on an electronic sheet of paper in your computer system. It can be manipulated and used in calculations. Some examples of spreadsheets include Microsoft Excel, Lotus 1, 2, 3, the Start View, Quattro Pro, By Design, Pitch Tree, SuperCalc, Multiplan Sage, DeckEasy, VisiCalc, Google Sheets, iWork, Open Office, and others. Among these, the most popular and commonly used is the Microsoft Excel, while others like Lotus 1, 2, 3, VisiCalc are no longer in use or have become obsolete. We will take a look at some features of the spreadsheet packages. Number one, the workbook. This is a particular workspace of spreadsheets made up of a collection of one or more worksheets in a single document. A workbook contains a total of 255 worksheets. This can be likened to an exercise book that has many sheets of paper. Instance, 60 Leaves Exercise Book will contain 60 sheets of paper to help you keep record of your lessons. As such, the same applies to a workbook that has 250 worksheets. It will have 250 pages. The difference is simply that while the exercise book applies to manual operations, the workbook is used electronically on a computer. Number two, the worksheet. This is a page of the workbook. Again, a page of the workbook where spreadsheet operations take place. By default, it is labeled as sheet one and runs up to sheet 255, as you can see on the screen clip. Sheet one, 
sheet two, and sheet three. The symbol after sheet three will help a user to add new worksheets. The number of worksheets for a document varies according to the amount of data you have to process. If someone has very large amount of data, like somebody who is processing students' results in Federal Government College for TACOT, you may decide to use one worksheet for each class, while some other person who works just only on an organization will use only one worksheet for that organization. So your number of worksheets in a workbook would vary according to the amount of data you have to process. But in total, we have 255. Most times, it's difficult to exhaust the 255 worksheets unless you have large volume of data to work on. Number three, the row. A row is the horizontal line of the worksheet represented by numbers. In spreadsheet, we have a total of 1,048,576 rows in each worksheet. To view this number of row as the last row, you simply go to your keyboard, hold down your control key, and press the down arrow key. Now we go to the fourth one, the column. The column is a vertical line of the worksheet identified by English alphabet A and runs to a combination of alphabets X, F, and D. There are a total of 16,384 columns in a worksheet. While you are on your spreadsheet environment, you may not see the last column in your worksheet. But to view the last column, you may go to your keyboard, hold down your control key, and then press the right arrow key. Number five, a cell. A cell is the meeting point or area of intersection of a column and row. The screen clip shows A as the column while one identifies the row. Number six, the cell address. The cell address is the name given to a cell according to its column letter and the row number. Example, A1, D8, AA2, G34, JB15, and others. To get the cell address A1 as seen on the screen clip, you consider the intersection of column A and row 1 as the number to have a cell address A1. The name box. The name box displays the cell address of the current or active cell. The range. The range is a group of cells in a worksheet. Example, cells A1, A2, and A3, when highlighted together, will give you a vertical range. A1, B1, and C1 highlighted together will make a horizontal range. Then when you have cells highlighted on a horizontal range and a vertical range, in addition to cells on different areas of the worksheet, you will have multiple selection range of cells. We need to understand here that a range must consist of a group of cells before it can be termed a range. Number nine, the toolbar. P 
The toolbar allows commands to be organized properly as shortcuts using graphic icons or symbols. They are very handful tools to the spreadsheet user. These shortcuts will help make your operations fast and easier. Example, the floppy disk icon will enable you to save your file fast and reduce the stress of mastering the keyboard command Control plus S or using a drop-down menu from the available options. So you simply get to the quick access toolbar and then you click on that icon and the computer automatically saves your spreadsheet file. Number 10, the menu bar. This is a special bar at the top of the screen that contains menu items used for spreadsheet operations. Just like what you have on a food menu that offers you meal options, the menu bar will give you options like file, home, insert, page layout, and others to make a choice that will enhance your spreadsheet operations. Each time you want to use a menu on the bar, you click on the menu, you will see options dropped on the ribbon. And then you make a choice of your desired option for the particular operation you want to perform. Number 11, the status bar. This is the bar at the bottom of the document window that shows information about the current or active worksheet. The screen clip shows that sheet 2 enabled is the current or active sheet. Anytime a, any of the sheets is enabled at that point, that sheet is the only sheet you can work on, referred to as the current or the active sheet. The formula bar. This bar displays the content, value, or formula used in the active cell. When it displays content, it means you are processing alphabetic data like your name, your address, its sentence, or data that deals with characters and symbols. When it is value, you are processing numeric digits like the number 5, 20, 75, or any number in your document. On the other hand, when it displays formula, it means you are performing calculations on your spreadsheet, such as your summation, division, multiplication, or you are making use of mathematical formula and functions. Bear in mind that these features we have looked at are found on almost all spreadsheet applications. We only concentrated on Microsoft Excel because that is the software or the spreadsheet application that we will use for our, continue to use for our lesson. And not just that, we had earlier said it is the most popular in use. We will quickly take a look at the practical experience of our popular spreadsheet application, the Microsoft Excel, in our next lesson, Spreadsheets Practical Experience Part 1. However, we have learned today what a spreadsheet is and some examples of spreadsheet applications. We have also learned common features of spreadsheets and how they function.
by the next lesson, we will get into a practical experience on spreadsheets. And I do hope that at that time, you would have acquainted yourself with the features. Please endeavor to do a review of what you learned in this lesson while writing this assignment. This will assist you to prepare well for our next lesson. Number one, what is a spreadsheet in computer? Number two, list five examples of spreadsheet programs. Number three, briefly explain five features of spreadsheets. When you're done with your assignment, please forward to the email fgcphcvgclass at gmail.com. I hope it was an interesting time for you. Remember that the world believes in you. Be awesome. Be yourself. Try your best in everything you do. Stay positive. Stay home. Stay safe. You are the reason we are here. Bye.